Welcome to the Auburn Medical Group YouTube live stream. The entertaining medical live stream where viewers can ask real-time questions of real medical doctors. And here are our hosts, Dr. Mark Vaughn and Dr. Gwen Vaughn. And we're here. So happy to be with you and Dr. Gwen. <laughs> You're really excited. I always am. <laughs> We get to spend time with our, our people who, who like to learn about medical facts and yeah. uh, ask us questions in a world of lots of bad information about medical topics. And so I'm not even going to say the word that this show isn't about <laughs> we can't today because no one wanted because uh, I, I changed the title just recently because I read an interesting blog post on Dr. Green Knight. Hey. You can find it at drgreenight.com using the link in the description of this video. And you can find out about the American Heart Association's new dietary recommendations as explained by our very own Dr. Green Knight. Well, as just essentially relayed to you by me, because <laughs> it's actually the American Heart Association who gives those recommendations, but I do get, I give a little commentary on how to do that, break those down, what that really means. Um, so yeah, you should go check that out. So. So should we go over it first, or should we explain how it's different from what we've had in the past? Um, maybe start out with that, yeah, how it's different. Because it's been okay. 15 years since they updated their yeah. uh, guidance. So, And, and I'm curious. Yeah. Oh, well, first, I guess we should talk about the why and, and the background, which is there. there's a big thing out there that is kind of a threat to people. Sorry, I didn't mean to spit on you. Big thing that's a threat to, to people's <laughs> lives and their health, the, kind of the number one killer. It is. And, and that's heart disease. And you there's a lot one. to it. We can talk about hypertension and, and many other things. But when it comes to the American Heart Association, they make a big deal out of diet being a big right. part uh, that, that's causative for this or influential on in it anyway. And I was, I was thinking, a lot of people, we've heard this before. I know you've heard this. You talk to people about trying to live a healthy lifestyle, and you go over the things during their wellness visit about, you know, this is your activity. and this we talk is about these a lot, yes. And they'll say things like, well, I don't want to live a longer life <laughs> following those guidelines because that sounds miserable. And, and I think, you know what? I don't know Let's what's do miserable about it. Audience. Look at your husband across the room from you in his recliner. Look, just look at him. And I would say the majority <laughs> of you, who, if you who, look at him who, who, and then look what, at people who what, try to follow the age of guidelines, is, is this, does this look like a miserable way to be compared to what you see there? Uh, that's just talking about diet. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm totally pretty, going by the demographics pretty, of this channel when I do man, this. <laughs> we're pretty active uh, as well, but... Um, I would not say eating, following that, their dietary recommendations are, um, yeah, miserable at all. I mean, okay. You can, I, I, I enjoy fruits and vegetables. Maybe, maybe that's a, yeah. how, what makes me different, I guess. I was going to call you Captain Carrot, but somebody's already taken that meme in our area. I didn't, didn't know that. I don't know who oh, Captain Carrot so is. You're so young. Kareem Nosler. Okay. Still. I grew up on. Okay. <laughs> you don't know. Okay. Nope, no idea. Sorry. <laughs> so maybe maybe you'd like to tell me what's going on out in chat world. I know Rusty Bernard's out there because he beat everybody. He did. To it. Yeah, yeah, he was here before he even came online. He's on top of it. But we do want to uh, call out those. We we don't have Mr. Ed with here to, with us yeah. here today. So I'm man in the chat. Uh, so Lindsay Antoine, Teresa Roat, thank you. Great. Um, Cheryl King, uh, the Reverend Eugene Barbara Barbaro. Barbara, I think I'm saying that right. I, I don't remember so, coming across that name before, but no. Yes, all of you. Thank you. Um, I have heard we are either. really glad to thanks have you. Lindsay's out there, and you said uh, also Teresa. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. We so are. Thanks glad for your to comments. Have... Hello to all. Uh, oh, and yeah. Cheryl King says all things in moderation. There you go. Well, maybe, maybe not no, meth. No. Maybe not cocaine. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> not all things. Not all. <laughs> <laughs> Trans fats. Yeah. Probably not in moderation. No, don't even do them. No. Yeah, that should be a no. <laughs> murder sprees. Actually, no. Murder sprees in no. moderation. No. But I did it in moderation, <laughs> Judge. <laughs> Your Honor. I was just following these doctors' advice. They said everything in moderation. <laughs> no, 
said everything. <laughs> But um, yeah, so so there are some things where uh, it's okay to have them in moderation. Yeah, um, they can be a small part of your life, like proteins, like like certain types of proteins yeah. specifically, uh, certain types of fat. Um, you can use them in moderation, yeah. healthy fats. Um, but certain other things, yeah, you probably just want to cut them out, not, not do them at all. Okay. So, um, we were talking about so, what's the update. So so let's look at the. Uh the list, the guidance. The list. Okay, so here is the, the list. This is straight from the AHA website. I'm using it, you know, in the way you're supposed to be allowed to, you know, because we're talking about it. All right. And some kind of transformative work to it. Yeah, we are. So we're, we're giving a pertinent commentary on on this sort of overall healthy diet pattern. And, and truly, it's not that revolutionary. No. We I, talk about this stuff different. quite often. Okay, so you're not able to read it, are you? I can read that. Oh, you can read it. Okay. <laughs> My, I got good so eyes. Let's go through this. <laughs> uh, so a, a wide variety of fruits and vegetables. You already kind of talked about it. And we, we actually try to do uh, half fruits and vegetables uh, in our recommendation. I, I don't know if you use that recommendation. I, I, I do, do too. Yeah, when, 50%. When I'm talking to the patients. That's say, what you should aim for. Try, try to have half of what you eat to be That's what you should aim for, fruits yes. Fruits and vegetables. Okay. And then whole grain products. Yeah, so so the starches that you have, you want them to be whole grains because they're higher in fiber. So, so better for you there. So not the white bread, white pasta, white rice. Yeah. You want the whole grain. Right. Okay. So see, typically when I talk to people, I talk to them about the plate, and you probably use this analogy too. So you yeah. have a plate, and if you, if you take that plate and um, you divide it into um, four, four parts, um, half of that should be fruits and vegetables. So, so there's your typical plate. Half should be fruits and vegetables. For those um, of you who have difficulty with fractions, that'd be two-fourths. Yes. Uh, and then a quarter of it should be um, uh, like a whole wheat grain or a whole grain starch um, that's high in fiber. Uh, and then the last quarter should be your protein. And that should be a lean protein, um, which lots of those can be non-meat proteins, legumes, beans, that sort of thing. Or if you choose a meat protein, may, make it a lean meat, such as poultry or fish. So there's that. And then drink water. This is getting difficult already. There you go. Is that that hard? There you yes, go. Yes, yes. So here's why. Getting difficult. Okay, so I've got my my protein over in this corner and my whole grain Are you one of those where they can't corner. touch? So they well, can't you're, touch? The one, you're the one who said you divide your plate into corners. Mental. You're the one that said I can't have them touch. Uh, I didn't. You can't let them I'm touch. I'm just saying. You're right. Yeah. All right. You can't what let them touch. What if it's in the sauce that I put on the... <laughs> this, well, with what's appropriate in, what's fats. In, what's in that sauce? Appropriate That's the first fats. question. <laughs> right. Unsaturated fats. Yeah. Um, sure. Okay. So so it takes a little bit of translation to what the if actual I, real world. What if I'm not That's looking like I, this, and in fact, it's Oh, yeah. What like about the size? This. <laughs> the size of the plate. <laughs> and I've got to... It's, uh, we tell people to get a smaller plate. That's about a quarter plate. of... It's stacked on there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a place to start from. Oh, okay. It's about a quarter of that stack. And, and it's on top of all the pan pancakes. As, <laughs> <laughs> the bacon's right there. It's right on top of the pancakes. I'm having a flashback <laughs> from breakfast the other day. So, <laughs> like I said, a place to start from. And, yep. and that really does seem to be the change. To me, that seems to be the right. change. That it's accounting <clears throat> for um, a rigid, here's the rules to... General guidance. It, it even gives some allowance yeah. to go ahead and bring it up again. The guidance. It even gives some allowance to um, the bad foods. It, right. In, in a, a it very says small amount. Minimize intake of added sugars. There's that part. Uh, use minimally processed foods. Um, they use healthy sources of protein. Uh, limited alcohol. See, all of them are like limited. Yeah, minimize. So maybe that's that, that moderation you were talking about. Yeah, yeah. So it's not saying so. So for those sugars that Lindsay wants, they're still there. We're just yeah. You just want to. We're just keep them to a minimum. Not having to be a part of minimum every meal or every course of every meal. Right. Let's. <laughs> and I go into more detail about some of these things. Yeah. But yeah. So so um, there it is essentially. Yeah. It's, it's uh, so if you think when I was growing up, when you were growing up. Um, they had the food pyramid. Does anybody remember the food pyramid? Actually, when I was growing up, it was the four food groups. It, well, okay, so predates me. <laughs> four food groups. 
For me, it was a food pyramid. And then on the bottom of that food pyramid was starches, right? I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I can't even remember. The it whole. wasn't fruits and vegetables? Really? No, I don't think it was. Fruits and vegetables were like in the middle, and then the top was... Well, wasn't. I could be wrong, but we've moved away from the pyramid to the plate. I, I am so old. That so we, stop stacking things as we stop stacking. Stop stacking like a pyramid. <laughs> All these people have plates with pyramidal food. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So one of the four food groups was dairy. That's right. That it was, was actually a, a whole food that group That was to its own. Man, it was like, they had such the lobbying power, didn't that, they? That was the, uh, the dairy Or council. beef. Yeah. It's what's for dinner. Yeah, they, they kind of got that into the USDA. Um, yeah, so maybe, pretty prominent maybe a little. There. Now, now we're making yeah. people think of conspiracies and everything. There's conspiracies we're talking. about. Yeah, we're, yeah. Okay, so moving back to, uh, how about the, the sodium salt thing here? Sodium, Let's yeah. Let's talk about that. Because, so they do comment on that. Yeah, and, and you said right in your paper how many milligrams of sodium right. are, are being recommended. And, and it kind of took me aback. To see that, 1,500 milligrams. What? what? Not even the DASH diet says that. Yeah. So this is what uh, the uh, AHA, American Heart Association, has now set forth as what you should aim for as your, the sodium content in your diet. Um, and that, yeah, that is a lot less than 2,500, isn't it? It's like <laughs> well, almost I, half of that. I, I think it was 2,100. It was 2,100? And, okay. and I look back at the NIH website to see what they have for the DASH eating plan. And it said... Um, it had an asterisk in it, and it said that uh, to try to get it down to 1,500, which is what the AHA is now saying, but it, it used to see, say, 20. It's like that aim for 50% yeah. of fruits and vegetables. Yeah. Aim for So the way, here's how I think of it. I think of it as caloric intake. Like, sure, for, for me to maintain ideal body weight for the amount of activity I have, I should be shooting for probably 1,900 calories, actually. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to be having a hard time keeping it down. And that's about how many milligrams of sodium were were on the recommended for that. Yeah, old way of looking at it. now it's fifteen hundred. Yeah, know, yeah, based on on the same range. I think it says two thousand calorie diets. So about about where you're at. But yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's look at some some comments and questions. Of course, Lindsay Andrewine what she needs her sugars. Like apparently, <laughs> I need my sugars. And uh, is Dr. Mark caffeinated? Like I said, it was like ten o'clock in this morning. In I bet there were added Santa sugars Maria, in California. And it wasn't where the app said that the Dutch Brothers was located. <laughs> the, the Dutch Brothers actually right off of 101. It wasn't way out in some field off of Highway 1. <laughs> I oh. found that out. Maybe a new one. Use going? Waze, not the Dutch Brothers app, when trying to the find... The Dutch Brothers app led you astray? Well, it, it, How I can think you it ever uses, trust them again? I think it uses the app built into your iPhone. Oh. Or your phone. Not your iPhone, but <laughs> since you don't have one. <laughs> Enough about my my misadventure with the Dutch Brothers and Santa Maria. But, but that, that was this morning. Your, your, uh, your caffeination is apparently still okay. coming through. Or you're just excited. I'm excited to be with all these people. These, look at them. Make me seem just like look at them. drab. How can you not be excited to look into their faces? Boring. Well, somebody had to cover for you today. So I'm just, I'm just saying... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> maybe that's so, why Lindsay, I'm worn out. Been Lindsay, covering your inbox all day. Lindsay's talking about packaging, and then thank you. By the way, I saw <laughs> yeah. that 50 items were were covered from. Avoid packaging that says 10% less fat. Wait, 10% less fat or less salt, etc. It's a marketing ploy that play. Oh, yeah. So yeah, that's true. You got to, you, you can't just rely on that. You actually need to turn it around and look at those nutrition facts. So let's show what they can actually look for on their labels. Ooh. What does a label see look like? The AH, uh, American Heart Association health check. Look at that. There's <gasps> actually a little logo that, that you can you look can at be certified. that tells you what to look at. Isn't that cool? So look I'm trying to that. think if I've ever seen that on things I'm eating. Well, I guess it wouldn't exactly be on like a fruit. <laughs> When you're Probably shopping around in the fruit section. Speaking of what it's on, the American Heart Association has a, a PDF that you look through alphabetically by the type of food, and it shows you what products get their little logo on them. Oh, so you can get heart-healthy foods. It, it has so many resources. There you AHA, go. It no, is a good what, resource. What's it called? Oh, it's, it's called heart.org. Yeah. Just heart.org. So many they resources for eating healthy. And so if you're the person who prepares the meals for your family... 
or if you share responsibilities, I encourage you to look at it. In fact, yep. they even have this thing on their website about uh, having a conversation about food as a family. So whoever does it eats Ooh. together, talk about it together. That sounds exciting. No, to not really. Have but, with a but, ten and but, eight year old and but, five year old. <laughs> So it's happening tonight in my house. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> anyway, I, do, I want to talk about one more thing on that list. Okay. I want to talk about the minimally processed foods versus what they call ultra high processed foods. Maybe we should talk about that a little more. How do we people, cause, cause, separate those? Um, yeah, yeah. Because uh, first, I guess we need to talk about what a processed food is uh, and break that down. That means he did something to it. What? Yeah, processed. It didn't. You know, it's not just the. So yeah, even even thing off the so, tree minimally out of processed barn. means you, you you did something minimal. You cleaned it and put it in a package. So so they okay. cite an example of like um, like packaged lettuce. Okay. Minimally, minimally. processed. Yeah, it's been. It's not on the head. It's in yeah, a bag. exactly. It's okay. cleaned and put minimally. In. So that would be minimally. No processed. No chemicals. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So ultra high processed comes in a wrapper. Yeah. Um, has been thrown together by machines on an assembly line. Like 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 the classic sausage. Like a sausage is a <laughs> which you don't want to watch. Ultra high eat. processed. Yeah. Wait. What? So processed <laughs> meat. The World Health Organization has designated. That is a class one carcinogen. Class one carcinogen. Processed meats are as cancer causing as cancer. cigarettes. So there as is far a, as that, classification. So class system. one just means a direct link, right? I haven't gone over that in so long. I don't remember. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what a class one means. Yeah. That there is a direct link between Be, the two. Between that and and it's not just one type of cancer. I know colon cancer is one of them with processed meats. And so processed that's meats would be like you said, mind. the I sausage. Don't know other ones. Most forms of bacon, unless you sliced it off of the, you know, pig yourself, it's been processed. Well, guess I need to get a pig now. <laughs> We've already got chickens. <laughs> okay. Is there chicken so uh, bacon? What? Chicken bacon. Chicken? I don't know. How how would you get chicken bacon? Like little, little strips. There is, the there is fake bacon, like yeah. tofu bacon. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's, there, it's there is. Not Let's good. not talk about that. I bet it has a lot of we, salt. We, <laughs> Probably doesn't fit the salt count. We want people to actually believe us. And <laughs> I, come, come back for recommendations. Yeah, We're not talking no, about those Not things. the tofu bacon. No. No. no we and, yeah. Although, I, I, I do enjoy tofu preparations. There, there's ways of making it that are pleasant. There are. Yeah. I don't yeah. need it that often. And there's ways of making it that are highly pleasant. I eat unpleasant. a lot of poultry. That's kind of my go-to for yeah. meat. But I have beans. I have legumes. I... Enjoy nuts. nuts and seeds. Um, you have nuts. I know. <laughs> Where are we going with this? Just to change your diaper. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cut. That's a wrap. Okay. All right. <laughs> so back to our... Uh, what else? Anyways, we have comments. Is it hot in here? Like turkey bacon. Anyways, so this was a great comment that I said, that I, Lindsay Antoine. So what okay. you're saying is cheese in a can isn't a good choice. <laughs> great, great comment. Cheese, cheese. <laughs> you are picking up what we're laying down. That, you got it. <laughs> yeah. Don't put it on the cracker. That's a waste of energy. First, <laughs> just, first chew the cracker. Shove the crackers in your mouth. <laughs> then, step one. <laughs> step two, have a friend. Have because your spouse. You can. <laughs> Guess you can't you spray the cheese with. <laughs> oh man, I'm we're, glad we're saying we... this like we have experience or something. <laughs> I am glad that the baseline level of health, healthy eating habits of our audience is such that we're talking like this. <laughs> so hey, <laughs> we are we are improving your health. Our as medical we speak group here. live, sponsored by Kraft, <laughs> apparently sponsored by Cheese Whiz. <laughs> We are so far. Why cut your cheese we when you can spray it? We <laughs> Why cut the cheese? <laughs> what? I'm not going. I didn't, I didn't say that. Say it. Don't Where? spray it. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. It. So it. If, <laughs> if this is the episode that any of our oh. doctor friends chose to <laughs> watch. Oh, um, yeah, I know we're not members of... 
you're, you're, oh, you're, man, the doctor association anymore. American we understand. We're expecting is... the letter, the registered letter to come in the mail. <laughs> we know it's going to happen, but it's worth it <laughs> to connect with there you lay go. people. So rewind this about 10 minutes. Just read that list. Don't listen to anything that we've said. Just read that list. Or just go over to drgreennight.com. Get your, okay. get, yeah, yeah. There's no commentary oh there. Goodness. We actually get good advice. Then, yeah, there. they're not. They, yeah. <laughs> they are so offended. They all turn us off. That's what happened. We're all done. It's oh my goodness. This is like the opposite of a super chat show. <laughs> it's like the, it's like no, <laughs> it's, it's they're dead. having fun on their own. We're just gonna leave. It's dead chat. Oh it's, my goodness. It's gone. Okay, so those of you who are watching uh, this after the fact and wondering what in the world is no, this? Those who have survived this It's a long. live stream. It oh. goes out live on YouTube to Man. people who have subscribed and hit that little bell icon yeah. so they get notifications. And they, they're writing these things and to you us. And you, too, can experience this in real time, like, <laughs> like us. <laughs> okay, Bianca's son turned pescatarian, and his food hey. is tasteless and awful. What? He doesn't know how to do it, then. You, you can have very, like... Bruce Davis likes potted meat. I, okay. Is that like canned meat? That's I know what where you kind of take <laughs> potted meat. It's where you take marijuana and use that to season your meat. <laughs> oh potted goodness. meat. Do you realize this would not have been allowed on the air oh, just a few decades ago? Probably not. Oh, no, you don't even know what the four food groups but are. But anyways, I, you can follow the American Heart Association, recommend, their recommendations, and still have very tasty food. Yes, you can. Yes. You can. It takes creativity, and that's why I encourage you to go to heart.org. They, they, they have some they're recommendations. They're trying to yeah. help us have good tasting, enjoyable, healthy food. So that's I encourage you. Yeah, check it out. Much. Uh, learn to use spices. Yeah. How about, how about oh, that? yeah. Yeah, that's something. Um, and, and yeah, the, uh, things can be tasteless if you don't. But, like, tofu is pretty tasteless if you don't well, cook, yeah. cook it right. It's yeah. it got no taste. It takes on the flavor of what's around it. And, and one of the things that the AHA uh, was getting at with updating the recommendations was that not everybody has the availability right. of yeah. healthy food around <clears> them. They're trying to integrate. I'm not quite sure what part of it accounts for that, though. You know, because there's this whole concept of food deserts. Right. There's yeah, who their, their last recommendation says you, you should adhere to these advice no matter your situation, which understood, but in some situations it can definitely be more difficult than others. It's like we talk about those yeah. food deserts where it's tough to get fresh fruits and vegetables because they're just not around you. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, even in difficult situations, if, if you know, when you're traveling, um, you still need to make the best decisions you can with what's available. The so the best decision you can at that Taco Bell menu kiosk. Yeah. Uh, can I have Well, they have the little button for water. vegetarian. <laughs> so you get like black beans <laughs> instead of Yeah, there you go. Beans are good. Get Whatever some beans that on there. Is that they call beef? Yeah. 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 So, so that, that's a Yeah, we, we we understand take out that the sour cream. In some situations this is difficult. Yeah. For sure. Okay. But, but do what you can. Um yeah. I'm not sure if your potted meat is the same as ours in the UK, potted but meat. I love a potted meat. So okay, so it's a UK Sammy? thing because this is an international Sammy? audience. I don't know what a potted meat is. We probably need to look that up. Like a I potted meat would be like I think it's I think it's talking about what we would call canned meats, like uh, like spam, spam or or um, is that what we're thinking sardines or anchovies or ah there you go or, Oof, yeah some of those are salty. Here's uh, the best eggs to buy are pasture-raised. I never buy battery eggs. I think that was an auto-correct, but I have no idea what battery eggs are. And if your eggs have batteries in them, don't eat them. That's my recommendation. I just don't even know what we, that would be. We get our eggs. But we've got eggs. You have real eggs. We've got chickens. Do, do the kids ever throw the eggs at something? Uh, they, they learn pretty early that they don't do that. Very good. They Discipline. Got, they got trouble. Our favorite word. So did you know that when eggs come straight from the chicken, you don't need to refrigerate them unless you do something to them. So if you have, if you clean them or do anything, you you wipe off this film that actually protects it from. Oh really? Uh, so you don't need to. So don't refrigerate do that until them. you're going to prepare them. Exactly. There just, you go. Just keep them. There's a little nugget of advice there. Keep them in the nest. Well, you can bring them inside and 
put them that way they don't yeah. like poop on them and stuff you how know? about yeah. temperature do you need to make sure they don't freeze or make sure they don't get too hot like a hundred degree day i don't i don't know we always just bring ours inside as soon as they are laid okay all right so that's the show for this <laughs> week thank you dr Gwen, for introducing us to the new AHA oh guidelines. yes that was good <clears throat> got my work out there and we'll be uh actually referring lots of pages we should probably put the link to this show in all of our patients, we should home instructions. Go read this after our, our, their annual illness. Go visit. take a look at this. Here's the dietary maybe, recommendations. Maybe read the blog. Won't have the bad commentary. <laughs> and read the comments from our viewers. <laughs> ah. Bianca and uh, Lindsay and Bruce and Reverend Eugene. Thank D. you all Barbara for your o. comments. Didi. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. We do appreciate you being a part of this. Uh, Dr. Gwen, who is it you appreciate? Uh, oh, a lot of people, but especially the Patreons over at drgreennight.com and specifically Teresa Roa. Thank you for what you do. You make it happen. Yes, and, and also Lindsay Antwine and all of you who are channel members and who participate in Patreon at patreon.com slash drvon, which will be somewhere on this part of the screen very shortly. So <laughs> until next time, this is Dr. Gwen. Hey. And Dr. Mark Vaughn telling you to stay in good health. Doctors, thank you for another informative session. Auburn Medical Group is located in Auburn, California, USA. Thank you for participating. Please tell a friend and join us again next week.